guys. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Finally, the moment I was hoping would come. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. Where, okay, sorry, I have to do the obligatory. Where's my best boy? Where is he? Hold on, sorry, guys. Sean, where are you, darling? Where is he? Maguire. Where's my boy? There he is, I found him. Go live with Sean Maguire, can't believe it. Here he is. Oh. I'm nervous. <laughs> can't believe it's really him. Where is he? I'm waiting for him. <gasps> wow, you look really, really, really awake and sexy. It's not gonna work. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm shutting down, I'm letting myself go. <laughs> I've decided that uh, in the company that I work for, that is run and managed by me, I'm going to let myself go. Uh, <laughs> we're downsizing. We're essentially downsizing. And really, <laughs> yeah. I, I believe in the last in, first out policy, but really it doesn't matter. I'm just going to have to let myself go because uh, I think I'm broken inside. <laughs> <laughs> inside? What about outside? Outside's fine, as you can <laughs> tell. Outside <laughs> is fine, inside is wet. This is how I'm prepared I am. Oh, I, happy honestly, Monday for Monday. <laughs> is it Monday? Is it really I Monday? Know. I don't know. Because I feel that we did our interview with Jason, which we can talk about in a little bit. Um, and I think we had like a cocktail or something then. And in my mind, that <laughs> started then and has just ended like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I don't even remember the interview. I might have been. I don't know. I, I, I hope it's as good as I think it is because I think it's <laughs> great, but I, I'll be lying if I said I remembered anything about it or, or anything else for that matter. How are you? Sorry, I've monopolized the call already. How are you? You look radiant as always. I'm, I'm this close to firing myself and just furloughing myself completely until the pandemic is over, to be honest. If you do, if I? you do let yourself go, you can come and work for my son. Because I've just let everybody go here. We literally have no well, employees need... anymore. Well, clearly you're hiring because you just let you go. <laughs> no, it's weird. Like, I sort of swing between... I, I, I'm sort of on this pendulum. It's like one minute I'm like, oh, this, you know, I feel the blessings. And like, you know, there's things to learn in this period. And then I, and then I swing between, I cannot do this anymore. Shoot me in the face. So I, like I sort of, there's no sort of middle ground for me. I'm either feeling like really positive about how to do this. And I'm like, Day. Oh yeah, and then I'm just like, I can't take it anymore. How do I make a day interesting for a five month old? And all I do is clean and I'm just, I'm over it. Yeah, um, I, think, I, think, I think this week, I spoke to a number of friends that all in their own different ways said to me, this was the week where I felt like I'm losing it, like mentally <laughs> losing it. Cause here's the problem. We are reminded by how amazing the frontline workers are, the healthcare professionals, the people driving trucks. So we, so for you and I to say, I can't take it anymore. We're shit bags. We're not allowed. We're not. We're not allowed. And that's the problem. I think we yeah. have to. We have to uh, admire them and give them their greatness and everything, and say thank God for them and so glad they're doing it. But we're also human, and we're also allowed to say, right. I'm. I'm not coping brilliantly. I'm feeling but shit. I'm. But it's hard um, to admit if you're having a hard time because I'm sitting on the sofa. I'm not saving lives. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. What, we, what right have we got to complain? But at the same time, I think everybody's going through some sort of, you know, what are we in now? Like six weeks, seven yeah. weeks or whatever. I mean, this yeah. is essentially what a summer holiday was in England when we were a kid. You remember how long yeah. a summer holiday was? Yeah. It's it's like, it's like, like eternity. And now that's what we've just done. But in a weird, whatever the thing is quarantine lockdown six weeks but without going to spain <laughs> yeah that's yeah. what we did every summer holiday we went to a visa or whatever it's like we went to clacton and stayed in a caravan <laughs> i'm not joking there's my family there was six kids two parents and then there was another family the mclarens my cousins and there was four of them and two so there was i think there was 14 of us in a caravan how many uh, caravans no one caravan. Come on. You're, you're and, the, and the caravan was smaller than my kitchen. <laughs> and literally there were like people on the floor. You can just hear farts, <laughs> coughing. My brother, Darren, blowing his nose on the curtains. I'm not, I'm sure you're not. I can't make this up. Darren had such bad, like, I guess we call them allergies. And you know, like normal people go, you should probably get a tissue or something. He's like, no, it's all right. There's a curtain right there. <laughs> I'm not joking. 
the starch on these curtains. Like you could, you could break the curtains. Slip the board. Right. She turned the curtains into blinds, and then blinds. <laughs> they were wooden blinds. They were. He was ahead of his time. He was. He was running <laughs> the no it's running serious. water. We had no running water. We had oh. gas lamps. Literally, it was like what little a shit it's holiday. That's just. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather be at home in a pandemic than in the caravan with thirteen Irish people on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> And honestly, we thought it was the greatest thing ever. We Aww. thought well, we were. That's what that's what being poor does to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> Never seen a caravan. We've got it made. We are lucky, <laughs> lucky people. The only reason, the only reason I passed my exams when I was sixteen was my ex-boyfriend at the time, who totally broke my heart and left me for my best friend. It was fun, it was good times. But before he broke my heart, um, we went on holiday to Skegness on a caravan holiday to Sorry. revise for Wait, just, just so people don't know, Skegness is basically like the Amalfi Coast of Great Britain. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> also known as yet another shithole. And my ex-boyfriend was a twin, and so her and her boyfriend and me and my boyfriend and their parents, they took us to Skegness in their own house. And they basically locked us in for a week. And we did like a lock-in revising thing. And they had a schedule that made us a fry up every morning. We'd revise for an hour. We'd go and play pool, come back. It's the only reason I did well at school, because I had that structure. I kind of want to see this show. I want to see young Bex in a caravan in Skegness revising. I don't know why. But I, do. I, want to see it. I feel like it's a net Netflix is just poised. They're watching this, by the way, and they're like, buy it. Buy Bex in a caravan. I want Bex at 16 in a caravan in Skegness. Let's just live stream the whole thing. I feel really triggered, and now I want to do a caravan holiday. Do you remember that episode of the In Betweeners when they went on a caravan holiday? Yes. <laughs> oh, that show. I came to that late because I wasn't in Did England. you? I came to it really late. And it was my dad. Like, when, if my dad finds something funny, then I'm like, wow, they, they've really knocked the door down. He's like, this show. Hold on. Oh. In between us. The between us. They're very Hold on, I've got to put my headphones in because the audio is annoying. I'm, I'm doing everyone's head in, sorry. That's all right. I need mine too. This is, oh, by the way, I had an amazing birthday. I saw so this much. This is what I got for my birthday. Mark bought me some. Earbuds with Ooh. Oh, I need them. I'm gonna get some of those. I just do you know what it's funny? I took a photo of myself. I don't do selfies very often, but I took a photo of myself to say thank you for something which is <laughs> incredibly narcissistic to thank people I took a photo of myself. But I had my headphones in and and about <laughs> like fifty people <laughs> about fifty people were like, Oh, so lame, he's got like wire headphones and I was like, Fuck off. What if I buy the <laughs> earpods? You, how long will it take before I've lost them? Literally thirty seconds. I've, I've lost one. I've lost. I've lost both. They're gone. Have you? Leo will eat one. Flynn will eat the other one. But I, I, I remember just getting like really, uh, like, like almost like loser. But wire headphones. I was like, when did, is it now not cool to have wires? I mean, I know which. I just got. I just got corrected because I just called them earpods. And are they earbuds? <laughs> I think they call the earbuds, but really, come on. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is, let alone what these are called. Yeah. <laughs> I actually bought them for Mark for Christmas, and I was like, wait, noise cancellation. Now he can really shut me out and ignore me. But here's the problem with those. I, when I'm talking, I, I have a friend that I'm talking to all the time on the phone, and when he's using them, half the time I can hear him and half the time I can't. I'm like, are you, move your bud closer to your face. I can't hear you, it's very frustrating. But how does it work? Is there is the speaker in my ears for the phone call, or the is it the phone? The speaker is in the earbud, and I guess the mic must be at the bottom. Of it, I presume. Is it? Does it? Does, is it clear though? Can you hear me clearly? Fortunately, yes. I can hear all of your hangover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I, feel, I feel like an oxygenarian today. I feel, <laughs> feel deeply wounded. <laughs> Do you remember when we were in Atlanta? It was like one of the first conventions we did in 2014. And um, we went out on the Saturday, it was the Sunday, and we got that really restaurant. drunk. And then the next day we were with Lee Ehrenberg and he, we stand out on stage, he's like, 
happy hangover monday everybody and we had said to him before we went on stage can you do the panel we don't think yeah. we can participate I, remember that. <laughs> I do remember that and i remember bizarrely i remember the restaurant because i think it's the only time we've been to atlanta right did we just go there once no i think we've been twice uh, oh when we had that group dinner in atlanta is that the one there was a wild it was kind of a wild lively restaurant yeah. yeah, I remember like I've got, I've got, I found some photos of you because I was, I was looking for photos of you on my phone yesterday and I found some really funny ones of you. The, the thing that you sent me about the, the, when do you remember after the paragliding or para sending yeah, para, in Brazil. Whatever, yeah, and you sent me that photo of me, I think just as I got off where I was still clearly like. You nearly died paragliding. Do you remember? You were, you were livid at the end. Was, that was ridiculous. Was so, I'm doing that again. I was angry that I had done it, but glad that I was alive. I was furious with Tanya for having done it and, and also being so cavalier about it. She just yeah. jumped off that mountain like she was yeah, getting a Tanya hamburger. landed and she was like, oh, that was really She's easy. Like, what is that? You do it again. I was like, how yeah. dare you? How Mark dare was the same way. Everybody went paragliding except me. I stayed at the bottom with a corona. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you came down all livid, I was like, I told you so, mate. I, <laughs> I was so, uh, yeah. it was so, and it's, I posted the video. I think some people have seen it. You know when somebody goes from like shit themselves to just, no, it's worse than shit yourself, scary. <laughs> you can see in my face in that video, there's just yeah. like Oh, there's video, like, yeah, no, everybody, there's inside. video of him because they had kind of a video of him nearly dying. <laughs> It was a terrible idea. And, it, and, and the other thing is, I didn't even feel validated in how scared I was. Do you know what I mean? I wanted someone else no. to say, God, you're so bloody brave. But instead, Tony was like, that really I, wasn't that big, that wasn't that big a deal. Let's just do it again, but let's do it without the hand and Let's just jump off the cliff. And I'm like, you've really maligned my level of fear. And I, like, I, I at least wanted to feel brave about myself. And I, I couldn't even do that, because Tony was like, And I've got photos yeah, so to prove how not brave you were. Yes, she was like, oh, it's she amazing, do it let's again. do it again. I'm like, and if we, if we go, if we go to Brazil to get again and go to Rio, I will again sit at the bottom with my Corona and wait for yeah, you all to come down. Will you, will you stop? Look, I've got some, this child. Hello. Hello, he's, Lily. To, he's like, I'm going to pour some stuff into other stuff. And then I'm going to pour that all over the floor and then rub myself in it. And then daddy's going to clean that up. Yeah. I, th I think that's so, why whatever. I, I think that's why I found myself at the bottle of a wine bottle, um, because <laughs> of I'm living for the terrorist who's, who's literally sort of going, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to wait till he cleans that up. <laughs> and he does that. And he's going to do it again. He's such a mug. He's such a <laughs> bloke I live with. He's such a mug. I just go around making stuff and he just walks behind me with a dustpan and brush. <laughs> 24-7 cleaning. Spe I also found some really funny pictures of you from Mark's 40th birthday dinner in Milan a year ago. Where, oh, right. Where, yeah. you were, you I don't wearing, even remember that. You, you were wearing a bib. Do you remember? I don't know yeah, why. Were you eating ribs or something? But you were, or some messy food? But you were wearing this bib. I do remember and you're, that. You're like telling stories, and there's like this photo <laughs> sequence, and you like, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? And it is I do classic. Remember. Do you know what? That that was that. I always think I don't remember, and it's in there somewhere. We were in that big restaurant. There's me, you, Lana. Uh, Robbie, Colin, Colin, Robbie, there was a bunch of us. And yeah. it was great. And Rose. Night. Didn't they kind of, we kind of shut down the restaurant, didn't we? Shocker, yeah. Well, we, yeah, <laughs> but we, I think there was a bunch of us. And yes, I don't know why the bib, I remember the big bit. You have to send me that picture. <laughs> I don't remember why, but I remember thinking that was hilarious. <laughs> I'm so soft, congratulations. I'm like, oh, wearing you're, a you're, bib, you're, this is hilarious. You're, you're, you're wearing a bib, but you're, you know, you're so serious and committed about what you're saying, like... <laughs> I know, once I have a bib on, I have to become very adult and very serious because the bib makes me look like I'm Forrest Gump. And then I have to counter that with just the ability to show how That's incredibly lyrical. serious I can be. Putting the world to rights. Um, now, listen, so a lot of people have been curious uh, as to how we are... I'm sorry, I haven't read any of the comments. I'm so sorry. Hello, everybody that is writing nice things. Hello, Slovenia. Um, <laughs> we have... All, so a lot of people are confused about how are we going to get Jason George on this three... Right. This three-way or threesome, blah, 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 blah. Well, here's the trick, people. We've already done it, you suckers. <laughs> We've already <laughs> recorded it. And I don't want to... Because I know you're not boastful. I'm certainly not. I think it might be the greatest interview that's ever been done in the world by humans. Yes. Would you agree? 
Yeah. Well, am I besides, only, besides, am I besides it? Doctor Saving Lives in a pandemic, it's a close second. Do you know what? This is going to be controversial. I know I'm going to get letters. This is more important than doctors. This interview <laughs> is better than the frontliners. Whatever they're Mate. doing, researchers finding a cure, nothing. You're rubbish. <laughs> Skip back and watch this interview. In fact, I will go as far as to say, if you are ill and you watch this interview, don't be surprised if you're cured after it. What my my favourite thing about you and me is the humility. Humility. It's definitely, I think, one of my strongest suits. It's not something I like to talk about, but um, it's definitely something that I feel very humbly proud of. Uh, humbly anyway, back to me. <laughs> anyway, back to you. Sorry. Um, but anyway, so the point was that the interview is 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 fantastic, and uh, Jason George is. Uh, one of the greatest people in the human race, and 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 we are we, we're gonna we, Mark clever Mark has figured a way. We pre recorded it, so you will get to see it. Yeah, soon. we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna um, air it this week for all of you. And... and and while I remember, while I remember, before we start getting very very aggressively worded emails and tweets, uh, the next guest on on the uh, the show that we do that, that we're doing is uh, who is it again? The next, our next guest. Yeah. We haven't lined them up yet, have we? I think we have. Have we? I think, well, I think we've spoken to her. I think her name's Lana Puria. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, the I'll wait for confirmation. I'm going to speak to her team. But just so, just before people start getting belligerent and shouting uh, in my delegate. I'm already writing a letter. I'm already I'm writing a letter. I think, yeah, so I think Lana has agreed now that we've, we've kind of figured out what we're doing, that she's going to kind of join us. Uh, yes. And, um, and we'll, see, and we'll see how that goes, yeah. Yeah, so, and also everybody, if there is someone besides um, the Queen herself that you would like to see us interview, please, <laughs> please, please DM us, tweet That's us, let us know point, who yeah. you want to see. Who and we will like? hunt them down and find them and drag them out of their isolation into a chat for you lot. So just let us know what, who you want to see us talk to and who I have a laugh with. And when we when we filmed this interview with Jason George, we just we thought that it would be more humble to do it in the evening with alcohol. So get everybody and it loose, was. loose. I think the whole thing was very loose, very humble. Um, mm -hmm. I was drunk by the end of it. <laughs> I don't really you remember the, the end of it. You see me in the interview with my straw, just like. I know we did. We did. By the end of it, I'm like, a, we did take a, like a, an advert break for wine, didn't we? And we all restocked. Yeah, all of a sudden, I'm like sucking on an empty straw. I'm like, what's that about? I need a refill. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a waiter to bring me another one, so I had to get it myself. Stars, they're just like us. They are just like us. And, and mm -hmm. you know what? It was, it was great. And I, I think that that is the way we're going to do it in the future. Because this morning thing, like, I'm still in my morning uh, phase. Nighty. Yeah. So I'm, I'm hurting. <laughs> well, whereas when we did the interview, it was so lovely because it's the evening, the kids had settled down. I felt very You civilized. were drunk again. So yeah. it wasn't even in a hangover. You're in the hair of the dog, mate. Do you know Did I tell mean? you this, that somebody, somebody tweeted or somebody wrote like, there's just wine and uh, like coffee time and wine time now, no <laughs> a.m. and p.m. And I was like, God, oh, uh, that's humorous, it's so but it's true. very, very accurate. Like people saying, I, I really look forward to the first coffee of the day or the first glass of wine of the evening. And I was like, yeah. I'm like, oh, Milo's in bed. Emerging. Like open, love. Yeah. <laughs> This is my third cup of coffee today. I've I'm decided I, I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, give myself a pass. And also for anybody watching this, if you feel like you're slipping a little bit, you're not exercising, you're not eating right, or you're not doing the things you should, or you're drinking too much, I'm here to tell you, don't worry. It's fine. Don't beat yourself up. It's Safe a space. tough time. No judgment. Yeah, no judgment. Just, just. You know what? I mean, when, the, when the world reopens, we can chug some water and pretend to go to the gym. Exactly, exactly. I it cannot is what it wait is. To, start, to, to start taking selfies of myself in Lycra. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to go to the gym, but I'm oh, just going to take myself I mean, people would pay good money to see that. Why, why give it away for free on Instagram when you can charge? That's a very good point. That's a very good I would point. pay. I would, I would give 20 I want some, to see Immediately like when I come out of lockdown, I want some sort of onesie, some sort of leotard. You need like a spank from the yes, double chin spanx. down to the, the ankle spanx. to hold it all in. For a whole body. <laughs> just, just down like a burka, Thanks. like a human condom. Oh, I thought that's a condom. Thing. Do you remember, like ages ago? This is controversial, so get ready, change your stance. Lots of people, and, and myself included, thought that you know people were wearing burkas. You're like, well, in this age of terror, we can't <laughs> see what they're wearing, but it's their religious right and everything. So hang on, before I get too controversial, now all of us are wearing masks. <laughs> if I was one of those ladies wearing a burka, 
I would be phoning people like Piers Morgan and other people going, oh, oh, so the book is fine for you, is it? It's all right for you to walk around like a letter box, but oh, when I do it, oh, I'm a religious zealot. I'm about to be a terrorist. I'm now heavily on the side of people wearing burkas. We may all be wearing burkas next year. Do you know what I mean? This is what's happening to us. I'm sweating just thinking about wearing a burka. I had to wear a burka in Iron Man 3. That's right, you did. I had this, I had this like, fart and you miss me part. I worked, I think, four hours on Iron Man 3. And Still. the agent was like, you'll barely be in it. I'm like, so? It's Iron Man 3. It's like, Iron Man. You've got to be in a burka. I'm like, and? It's Iron Man 3. So it's just like this bit. You, I like, remember your eyes have never seen it. Now, you can tell it's your eyes because they're very piercing blue, but... Then, but was, you rip the burka off at some point and we see all of you, don't we? Not but all it was of really, burka. yeah, like I ripped the top bit off, but I had to wear this burka for a whole day. It was so claustrophobic. I know, I don't, listen, I always thought, well, that's, if God created man and woman, then why would God then create something and then go, I'll cover that up with a blanket, would you? I don't really like it. Do you know what I mean? I don't get it. But again, I don't want to, I'm not, I don't mean that in an offensive way. Everyone should be able to practice whatever they want to practice. But I just think if something is beautiful, why wouldn't we see it? However, they're in trouble. My point was that I think that for all the people that criticise them, now we're all wearing them. So, and, and I, I don't think that's going away anytime soon. My, my 2020 look is going to be full body condom spanks and masks. That's right. my 2020 look. And that way, if it's holding me in, I can continue to eat a whole bag of cheese puffs like I did the other day. While being entirely safe. We could sell that. <laughs> we could sell that tomorrow. Someone just, someone just asked, someone asked if we could get Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, easy, easy. Yeah, easy. Yeah, no, I'll phone Jen in a minute. As soon as I get off the phone. She's, Jen, can um, you just, Jen, can you go? I'm just talking to Sean. Actually, she's in the other, oh. Jen, Jen. Oh, is she at your house? She's on, she's on the phone she to swim. In. She's on the phone to swim. She can't, she can't talk right now. Uh, but yeah, she was Jennifer Aniston. I was, uh, you know, this was really dumb. We should have said within the confines of our, of our friendship who we can get. Because people would be like, get Barack Obama. Get <laughs> I'm actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this now without even asking, because I'm fairly sure. Brad Pitt. Yeah, let's get Brad Pitt. Um, let's get Donald Trump. Let's get Trump. Oh, easy. He'd, he'd love to I, be on. Do you know what? I'm, I'm willing to, to be that hard-hitting journalist that's going to ask the tough questions like, do you know your name? R what, what day is it? Your wife, yeah. Where do you live? Uh, How much coffee and wine do you drink per day? Well, he doesn't drink. Do you know that? Donald Trump doesn't drink. Really? He doesn't drink alcohol because his older brother apparently was an alcoholic and died from it. And so thank God for him, he, he was smart enough to not let alcohol drag him down. Exactly, exactly. What did she say? say? She's, she was saying, at least if he did drink, he could say, listen, about that injecting bleach thing. <laughs> I was fucking leathered when I said that. <laughs> I literally, I just started coming on my big blowing. And... No, but seriously, if he could but blame it on alcohol, on. you go, oh, on. that's why you said the stupidest thing in the world before he then said, oh, I was just being sarcastic. He wasn't being sarcastic. At all. A lot of these requests that I'm seeing, because, you know, I asked everybody who they want to see as interview, it's legitimately the entire cast of Once Upon a Time. <laughs> well, the good news is they're friends with everybody. Lana Pritt. Yeah, no, no, we are. Well, do you know what? We will. We, huh? Trying to say, but none of them like you. <laughs> so? Does but they like Bex. That's why we're a double act. You know what? They don't like Sean, but they love me, and that should offset everything. Exactly. It'll be like a kind of. They'll come out with you and then put up with me. We, I tell you what we'll do is we will, we will ask our friends, won't we? We'll, uh, Someone just asked if there's something in my nose. Now I'm paranoid. I got a bogey. Is there something in your nose? No. Just air? Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie who? Can't say Jamie, Jamie, Jamie three times and not put Who's Jamie. Jamie? Jamie Chung? Jamie. Just, <laughs> Victoria Smurfit, yeah, Norman? we love her. Robert oh. Carlyle. Do you know what? I think if I text Robbie and uh, 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 Robert... Bobby Carlisle and said, uh, me and Bex are doing a podcast. You're like, Sean, I love you, but fuck off. <laughs> I'm not doing no fucking podcast. Bobby's a very private, reserved guy. He doesn't do stuff like this, but he would be hilarious. He would be oh. hilarious. Because I'd, I'd like to hear, I, 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 he emailed he's me. Very, he's, all, he's also very monosyllabic. Like we've done panels with him before, you know, where someone asked him a question, he's like, no. Yeah, he doesn't feel. <laughs> That's he, it. 
<laughs> just he's such a boss, he just doesn't feel the need to have to. Like me and you would just rabbit on for hours. He's just like, yes, no, shut it. We're not so as cool as him, though. Let's be honest. He's about as cool as they come. You ask me a question, you get my bloody life story. Kristen Bauer, yeah, we love Kristen. We love. We. Do you know what? I mean, look, this is going to monopolise the whole interview. We, we, we hear you. I'm, we're hearing you, Lee. Do you know what would be beautiful? We get Lee Arenberg. We get Lee on. Me and you. I think we should go and put the kettle on. Because Lee, we could, Lee, well, we could even do some daytime go. drinking because he'll do talk could, the whole time. I could day drink and nap and yeah. come back. And Lee would still yeah. be doing it. Yeah, um, he's do brilliant. It for us. He's brilliant. But we will. So listen, we will look at these suggestions and the things yeah. you're saying. Uh, and we will take them into account and then do exactly what we want to do anyway. And then we'll also air our Jason George interview uh, this week and then you have to let us know um, how amazing you think that we were doing it. Only good reviews. We are, yeah. We're only accepting good reviews. If they're um, crap reviews, delete, block, report, abuse. Oh, actually, do you remember at the end, I mean, it was all getting a bit at the end, uh, but we, we asked like a thousand questions or something. Yeah. And you, the viewers out there, the watching, if you like some of the questions, uh, we're trying to figure out what will be our staple. What will be our 10 questions? What does everybody want to know about? About them? everybody. Because we've got, we had some serious questions and we had some silly ones. So we're finding the balance between serious and silly. But I'd like to know what, <laughs> if you have a guest on, what are the things people most want to know? Because yeah. it's, it's intriguing. People, like, some of the questions were like, would you rather be a dinosaur or shat on by a whale or something? And then <laughs> something, <laughs> something which I think tells you a lot. So I haven't been shat on by a whale in such a long time. <laughs> Big years. I don't know where that came from. I mean, if, that's a weird thing because if you were shat on by a whale, I mean, you'd be in the ocean. Anyway, anyway I'm going off on a tangent. I had to get juice. Um, Maybe so, you'd be uh, in your wetsuit and you wouldn't get it on you. <laughs> so Jason interviewed this week. We've covered that. Was there anything else? Where are we, are we, is there anything else in, our, in my hungover state that I've not mentioned that we should have done, that we should have said? I don't think so. I mean, okay. you haven't told me I look nice, but apart from that, it's fine. Radiant. I think I said radiant. I'll have the court reporter read it back, but I think... My, my ear pods. <laughs> Maybe they, 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 they reduced the sound of me saying how wonderful you look. Did oh, you... Have you... I saw you post about... Have you cut your own hair yet? Have you done that? No. No. No, I, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck it up. I'm not going to do I, it. I'm, I'm I, this I, close to doing it, but... No, I, 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 I think... 50% of my it. personality. And also, here's the thing, if you just don't cut it the whole time we're in lockdown, by the time we get out, you might be like Rapunzel. I what if I did like a live cam on my long ginger bush, just seeing how big it gets during the pandemic? <laughs> and then I'm tripping over it, using it as a loo roll. <laughs> it can have its own Instagram account. <laughs> Do you know what? Bush. As you speak, somebody's setting up yeah. a ginger a bush cam. account, a live account. It's Mark. And Mark's downstairs setting up the account and the camera. <laughs> I've, got, finally, I've got to create another hashtag now. Ooh, um, ha hashtag Bex is Bush. It writes itself, it, Maguire. It, really, it writes itself. It really does. I think, and I apologise if anyone has young, um, young children watching, I think that we've, we've gone for a morning show into a little bit <laughs> of today. I apologise for some of my life. I feel like time and space don't exist anymore. It's Saturday, it's 9am, it's 9pm. Dunno, don't care. Yeah, it is it. what it is, mate. I've decided today's Wednesday at 9pm. Like, On well, Thursday, this, I thought you it should was tell Monday. Me other ones. Oh my is God. it quite actually... It, it is Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. I genuinely, for a second, I was like, no, it is Sunday. It is Sunday. And I was like, but we just had one of those. Also, I really want to say really quickly to everybody, because we're about to go, thank you so much for all of my birthday messages. It was, uh, I definitely felt very special and very loved that evening when I sat down to read them all. And it's my favourite thing about social media is feeling the love on my birthday. So thank you it very is. much, everybody. I'm sure you've got a lot birthday, of your... Especially on this birthday, as you were locked down, I was locked down, anybody else that's had a birthday, it's, you know, yeah, it sucks it's a little weird. bit. But... I saw your birthday messages and even I was uh, warmed by them. Um, so that is very sweet. And I, I'm i very glad that you felt loved. And I'm glad. Uh, lovely. Was, and I'm glad that we have these. Uh, I mean, I used to go, oh, social media, I hate it. Now <laughs> I'm really relying on it because I, I yeah. need this interaction and I need because we're all going bonkers, you know. Yep. Let's go bonkers together. Um, well, we're all in this together. Just say let's all go bonkers together. Yeah. 
But we're going to air the uh, Jason George this week. Details to follow. We will let you know ASAP when and where and how it is airing. Let us know what you think, only if it's good. And let us know what questions you want us to ask and who else you want us to see. And we will be doing another live again very, very soon. And we love you very much. Yes, I, I echo everything that you just said. And thank you, everybody. Um, thanks for giving us a reason to do this. It's, it's giving me and Bex a real, I don't know, a point in the week where you can kind of aim yeah. towards and feel like you've done something, even if it was just nonsense. But love yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Love I you love back. you, Sean. Love Speak the time and the everybody. kids. And we love you guys. See you later. Bye. Everyone. Take Bye. care. Bye, everyone.